light the fuses, bitches! Pack those tins, bitches! to the Mud Jug One channel. I am your host. We are doing a little something different today, boys. We are going to try some grizzly mint. Had a lot of people ask me, hey man, can you do a video on grizzly mint? I guess this must be a popular dip because um, I've had a lot of requests for it. I haven't had grizzly mint and Man, I don't even remember last time it. So fresh can, as you saw, I cracked that shit on camera, as we've all been taught to do by Cajun Tiger six one six himself. Now it smells minty. I'll give you that. Now I know, obviously, Grizzlies uh, Grizzly packs their tins a lot better than uh, Copenhagen cans. I'm gonna pack that a little better and just to see. Yeah, I mean she's she's jam packed, boys. I don't know if you can see it too well. Um, Copenhagen always cheats you out of a pinch, bastards. So we're gonna put a little hog skin, a little freaking sledgehammer, a little dagger, a little digger. Mmm, yeah, that's pretty good size. I don't like to put too much in when I'm doing a video because then I end up spitting half of it out because I'm talking so much. Little, little dipski for the lipski. So, Grizzly always has that unique flavor to it. Got a little bit of that plastic flavor. I know you guys ain't going to want to hear that, but anyway. Put that in there and soak on it for a while. Mud jug of the day is the yellow carbon fiber mud jug. I don't know if you can see that too well. We are, will be discontinuing this mud jug, guys. Um, and I think we're, we're going to get rid of that orange toy soldier. Selling okay, not bad. But, you know, when you sell, a lot of people ask me, why do you guys discontinue my guy? Well, first of all, if I ain't selling, what's the point of keeping it around? So that's the major reason. We like to come out with new patterns because there's a lot of people that collect mud jugs. So we'll run, you know, I don't know, 30 or whatever, and then boom, if they don't sell very good, that's it. We're gonna we're done. So but when you sell, you know, five carbon fiber, yellow carbon fiber in a month, um, to uh, you know, a hundred rebel flag, let's say. I mean, really? What's the point of even you know, there's no comparison. Why even keep the keep something that you're selling a couple of? So anyway, that's why we do it. And then the Confederate Camel Mud Jug is just, I mean, that thing is by far number one seller. That's, I mean, that thing is ridiculous. So anyway, mm, definitely tastes like Grizzly boys. Grizzly all all regular all Grizzly long cut pinch is the same. The can is always full from what I've seen. All grizzlies, grizzlies in plastic tins, cans. I guess it ain't a tin if it's plastic, right? Um, you know, if you're a mint guy, you probably like grizzly. Um, I prefer Stoker's Mint myself. But, I mean, you know, grizzly pinches, like I said, they're all the same. They're all long cut pinches. This can may be a little bit dry, but, you know. Not too bad. Yeah, it's a little old. 92% U.S. and 8% foreign. What kind of combination is that? 92% and 8% foreign. I mean, are really? Why even bother with the 8% foreign? Jesus. Everything's foreign nowadays. If you guys have been living under a rock and don't know that last song was off the Jaja Boys Country album. I think this was their uh, first album they released. This was probably, I, in my opinion, this has been their best album yet. You know, this this album has all the hits on it. 
riding high, and <clears throat> which I, that's what I played. You can actually get this album on mudjug.com, guys, if you want. We support the Jaja Boys. Um, check them out. I am currently wearing a Redneck Nation t-shirt. That's on the back. Um, courtesy of Redneck Nation, of course. Guys, if you want to get some Redneck Nation gear, we have actually, uh, Bobby set up a coupon code uh, for anybody who uh, initially was a Mud Jug customer and then goes over to Redneck Nation. If you use coupon code Mud Jug, you uh, on Redneck Nation's website, you get 20% off anything, guys. Hey, there you go. 20%, boys. Better than a kick in the ass. But I'll give you one of those, too, if you want. You ever had your shit pushed in? Your shit pushed in. Simple question. Nah? No. Yeah. Had my shit pushed in. Oh, yeah, man. I had my shit pushed in, bro. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, attack of the blue grizzly, um, definitely attacking my gums. Although I've been dipping so much lately, my gums are pretty sore. Even my cheeks sore because I've been side dipping a lot lately. Um, and I haven't really dipped on this side for a long time because that was my pref preferred side for a long time. And this 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 corner is receding pretty bad. So I'm. Um, the other day I put a dip over on this side and it still hurts when it goes over there, man. Man. So, she's side dipping for me for a while, boys. I wanted to talk about the Confederate camel pattern for uh, a little bit, guys. And gals, of course. Um, I never really t talked about this in a video. Um, but, you know, I created that pattern. Of course, I had a design, uh, someone who had the design ability and, and the artsy-fartsy stuff to help me out. But I, I had that vision a long time ago, and, and I figured I'd share it with you guys. A lot of people really don't know. I know Outlaw mentioned that that was kind of what my plan was to do that pattern a long time ago. Um, you know, I, basically what I did is I took our most popular mud jug at the time, Real Treat. Uh, hardwood green mud jug, just a very popular can hunting camo, and I took the Southern Pride, the Rebel Flag mud jug, and I said, okay, well, why don't we make a pattern? I mean, there's a million patterns out there, camouflage patterns out there, but why don't we make a pattern that combines the two? So basically, that's what I did, and I had been working on that for, gosh, probably two years. I mean, I, I bought confederatecamo.com. The name kind of stuck, Confederate Camo, I think is a pretty cool name. Um, and we developed that film. Of course, it costs a lot of money because it has a lot of colors. Developing film based on colors. Um, and there's a shitload of colors in there, so that was a real pricey um, investment. But, you know, so far it's been worth it. And in the future, we will, we will be offering, you know, we're going to have Confederate camo shirts and Confederate camo hats. And you'll be able to get a Confederate camo vinyl wrap for your... For your freaking four-wheel drive and for your ATVs or four-wheelers, whatever you want to call them. So, you know, that is in the works. That stuff just takes time. But uh, I did want to let you guys know that that is my pattern. So, um, I'm going to actually, I'm getting one, that my shotgun done in that. I'm getting some other things dipped in that. Um... Jim over at K2 Concepts, he is uh, the one that does uh, a lot of our uh, decorating of our mud jugs. He's going to be doing, uh, he's the guy that does all the Confederate camo stuff. I'll have a shotgun here soon, I'm hoping. Be able to show you guys, show that to you guys and some other stuff. Um, I just truly believe that that pattern is very unique and that pattern is, is going to be a force to be reckoned with. And when some of these big companies see that pattern and see how popular it is. I mean, guys, the, the Confederate Camel Mud Jug, by far, hands down, is the absolute number one top selling mud jug of all time and is kicking every other mud jug's ass from, from here to Sunday. That leads me to Soldiers of the Week, boys. We always do Soldiers of the Week. And uh, why? Well, because we support the troops the best we can. Uh, we're a small company, but we do everything we possibly can to show our support for the troops. And uh, 
So, I don't have that many this week, guys. Uh, I used to just get tons of tons of people sent them to me. So, if you do have a Soldier of the Week that you want me to shout out in a video, by all means, send me their their name and you know what what branch of the air, uh, the uh, armed forces they're in and what you know even what their occupation is, and and I'll hook it up. Uh, first Soldier of the Week is PFC Brent Cheatham. I think that's how you say it. Sorry, Brent, if I butchered that. He is uh, from Delta Company, 795th Military Police Battalion out of Missouri. And guys, if I if I get a name wrong or an occupation wrong um, or a rank wrong, I apologize. I'm not perfect. Uh, the second shout out of the week goes out to Staff Sergeant Joel, Joel T. Blair from the U.S. Air Force. He is in uh, ammo. He's a bomb builder, guys. Damn it. That's what that says. And they have a saying that the, uh, that the ammo, uh, guys in the ammo field, the bomb builders say, they, they have a saying, which is similar to my saying about if it ain't dip, it ain't shit. Well, they say, if you ain't ammo, you ain't shit kind of tend to agree with that statement there, Joel. Anyway, that is all I have for Soldiers of the Week, guys. Two, a whopping two this time. Usually it's 10 miles long. So I had this Grizzly Mint in for a while, guys. You know, I like the blue. By the way, you know, I know we need to make a blue mud jug. Uh, eventually we will. Not in the near future, but I like the blue uh, colored uh, uh, can lid. Looks pretty cool. Um, I'd have to give Grizzly Mint about a six and a half out of ten. I'm not into flavor flavor dips. Obama's gonna ban flavor dips. You guys know it's all about the Copenhagen long cut. I should add that to the dumb question of the week. Hey Mud Jug One, I watch all your videos. I got a question for you. The question is, what's your favorite dip? Well shit. I don't if you watch all my videos, you know it's Copenhagen long cut. Dumbass! I think that's about it for me, boys. Always remember, if you ain't spitting black, get your panties out of your crack.